Alright guys, welcome back to Graveyard Creepers. I'm going to show you how I'm going to build the facade for my uh, alien autopsy. So, it's pretty simple. I've got this Luan, or whatever you want to call it. It's like 14 bucks a sheet. Then I got some one by fours. So I'm going to cut those down 48 by eight foot. So then we'll, we'll skin, skin that and uh, then we'll paint it and all that good stuff. And we'll set it up and show you, I'll show you how we're going to do all that. And uh, I think it's going to look pretty good. I got some ugly green paint. Well, it's actually pretty good. It's an ugly green paint that they used back in the old days for an old insane asylum or old hospital or something like that. So we're going to try to stay with that kind of theme, not the full deal. And uh, once we get a paint and everything, then we'll go back and stain the pretty white. And I'll show you how we do that too. But uh, we're going to cut this down. I'm going to show you how to build a couple of these, that way you know how. Then I'll show you how I'm going to paint it and uh, go from there. Alright guys, stay tuned. Hope you enjoy. I'm going to try to get you over here where you can see me. Sorry it's loud in here because of the rain outside. I'm going to go over this tool with you right here, this Ryobi, uh, Brad Neller. This is probably one of the best things I've ever used. It is battery operated. That battery does last a long time. It's easy to use. And so far, I have had no issues out of this thing working. Uh, I haven't had any nails pinned up inside, none of that. That's one of the best pieces of equipment that money can buy and it's not that expensive. So if you get a chance, go get one of these at Lowe's or Home Depot. I don't know which one sells it, maybe both. But that's probably one of the best tools to buy right there. So there we go guys, that's the bottom half. And the reason I laid, the reason I laid these down is I'm doing a two-tone. I mean, the bottom's gonna be green, the top's gonna be white. Most usually I, I stand them straight up and down. It, it just makes them more rigid that way, in my opinion. This way they're kind of floppy at the end. But I, I got, once we get the walls and everything up like that, that I, I can fix all that. But I just laid these down because I'm painting them two-tone. The bottom's going to be green. The top's going to be white. And this is going to be our alien autopsy room. So I'll have to, once I get it painted, then we'll have to decorate it and stuff like that, which I ain't going to decorate it right now. It, it'll probably be a while before I decorate it. But I want to get it up, get it painted and stuff like that. But I'll show you how I put, put it together. So what I did, let me get this thing working here. 
So what I did after a after I nailed them down, I went back and put screws in them. And then how I'm putting them together is with bolts. You can use whatever kind of bolts you want, as long as they're long enough. And I'll show you how I did that. I put wing nuts on them. I put wing nuts on there so they're easy to take off and on. But these bolts and stuff I've had for years. So I'm using them up as I go. There ain't no sense of me buying new ones when I got 10,000 of them over there to go through. I just got to find nuts and bolts and everything else to go with it. So this is the inside of the facade. I'm just gonna get you straightened up here. So this is the inside of the facade. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna paint this green. You know, the old school insane asylum or the old school hospital, whatever, was kind of green or yellow or in the 50s and 60s, that was a big color. So we're going to paint this stuff green, then we'll come around and do the top and we'll paint the top white. And then we'll get our eight in, our table and stuff in here. Uh, that table is going, barely going to fit, so i got to figure out how I'm going to set it, maybe at an angle or something like that. Then maybe we'll get a light up on the wall hanging over so it's kind of shining down where you can see the alien and make it all dark except we're seeing the alien itself so uh let's go ahead and paint this see what it looks like now the paint i got i've got a mixed match paint i went there to get green and i got green so i only paid ten dollars for this gallon of paint so you can't beat that I always ask if they got a, a a mixed match paint and you can get it pretty cheap Shouldn't take me too long to paint this. I hope not anyway. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, you're, you're kind of blocking my, my view here. I need to work here. Can you please move over? Excuse me? Oh, you ain't got no mouth. Okay. Never mind. Stand where you're at. We're going to paint this anyway.
stress it, make it look like some rust and stuff is running down the walls and whatnot. So you don't have to be perfect. this I'll show you at the end. See you, bye -bye. So there it is guys. I got the walls painted. I got them built and painted today. And uh, still too dark. I'm gonna have we will let me turn the light back on. So there it is guys here's the uh, build the facade will decorate it. I'll probably put some different kind of stuff on the wall. So I'm going to do some research, see what I can find to put on the wall. And of course, you know, this is just kind of a plain Jane ordeal. We've got an alien guy here. We've got a Sonic Hill chick there. She's a nurse, so she's probably going to doctor on him. Uh, she's got a big old butcher knife in her hand. But anyway, I was just basically showing you how to build a facade today. It's very, very simple. It is a little time consuming, but if you got some help, you can bust these things out pretty quick. You can make them, have some house painting, have some house decorated, you can go on and on and on. I'm doing everything. I'm building the props and trying to make them and build this. So it takes a little while. So this is probably going to be like episode one of this. We'll come back in, we'll distress the walls a little bit, make it look, look a little bit more eerie. And uh, so stay tuned for part two of the alien autopsy facade build or something like that. I'll figure out a name for it, but there you go, guys. We hope you enjoy the video. Please like, share, and subscribe so you can keep, it, keep up to date on everything that we build. Uh, this is just the first stage, first part of what we're doing. So uh, we'll continue to add to it. I still gotta put some trim around the, the seams and uh, put some stuff on the wall, maybe a medical plaque of some sort, some kind of a government thing. It's hard to tell. I'll look, some, look up some stuff and see what I can make. So we hope you enjoy the video, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.